What's going on, everybody? C4, welcome back to the channel. And today we're here for episode 10 of our Vancouver Grizzlies Madden 22 Pink Slips franchise. Today we are going to our second last episode of our first regular season with Vancouver. It's at 5 and 8. We have the Texans, who we defeated earlier in the season, stole away Justin Reed, very talented safety. And then we have week 16, the New York Jets. My new sound a little bit different. Got the got the vid. I posted it on Twitter. Uh, yeah, it sucks. Haven't felt the best. But also pretty bored, just sitting around the house, not doing anything. Took a couple days off. And uh, old YouTube sets you with the emails, like, hey, you haven't uploaded lately. And that's basically, you got you to gotta do something, bud, or we got to start like, having to punish your channel or something like that. So like, all right, I think I can I think I think can get through here uh, and record. I, I just can't talk loud. If I talk too loud, my voice will get crackly, my throat will start hurting. But we're all right right now. And I know a bunch of guys probably listen. I've gone through this. It sucks. It's not the end of the world. Double, you know, we got the shots and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, most importantly, the kids are still fine. They're Gucci. And we're almost through it, man. Day, this is day f three, three or four. I can't remember. It's, literally, I can't remember. I don't even know what day of the week this is. But, uh, you know, we're doing fine so far. Hopefully, the worst has already happened. But that being said, let's go, baby. Might be, we're going to call it like the Michael Jordan flu game. That is this of pink slips. We're going to get through this episode. Hopefully win some players. Because he did not win a player in the last episode. And, you know, we'll feel good about ourselves. So looking at our squad, we have had some new players with in the last episode or so that if you missed, maybe, you know, you weren't here last night, you might have forgot. You might have missed. So we got our new, or, well, our old starting centers finally healthy here. The Canadian Brett Jones, 66, which, you know, is that really worth talking about? I don't know. But given the fact that our last starting center for most of the season has been 54 overall, that is quite the upgrade. Uh, we look at the rest of it. I mean, we did beat the 49ers from that 49 victory. That was really our last big victory where we had the wide receiver out of Arizona State, Brandon Ayuk, have a new franchise quarterback, and Trey Lance, who absolutely stunk the join up in his debut performance for us. And on the defensive side of the ball, we got Eric Armstead at defensive line to pair up with Raekwon Davis, the Canadian Neville Gallimore. I mean, it's a really good front. I like. I really do like our pass rush. Uh, really, the only thing I'm not really impressed with, honestly, is our safeties. Uh, they play well in the sim, but like when I'm on the sticks, I'm not seeing a whole lot of Javon Holland or Justin Reed around the football. Need to need to improve that because that is absolutely one of the strengths of our squad. So we got to decide which team we are playing in today's episode. We have the Jets, we have the Texans. We already beat the Texans, so I want to actually take a little peek here at the Jets roster. We already, I mean, we'll look at Houston first, and that Houston victory was pretty nice because we used one of our team captains who's still injured. We still have to send them. Uh, I think it's Eric Harris. Who's, I don't think we're going to be able to send him to the offseason. But look at that potential upgrades here. Um, there's actually not really a lot. Like, this is the range that we that we could be poaching players. And there's not, like, one guy there that's, you know, Titus Howard. Maybe in the offensive line. He's only 25. Maybe some upside still there. Nico Collins at wide receiver. Breven Jordan at tight end. I mean, there's a couple guys, but nothing that goes like, Yes. We gotta play the Texans again. Let's take a look at the Jets. Um, I mean, also not really a lot, but at least there's different. Like Elijah Moore, AVT, Ashton Davis. I mean, we're good at safety. Uh, they got Tyson Campbell in the secondary. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna say the Jets have to have the better guys in that like between 68 and 75 bubble. And we don't play them every single year. So it might be, like, who knows the next time we'll have a swing at trying to get some players from the Jets. So we will sim this game against the 3-10 and 10 Texans. We will play that Week 16 game against the Jets. And then hopefully when all is said and done, we got at least one victory and can add some new players to the Vancouver Grizzlies. So for our weekly strategy, how are we going to go about being here? I mean, it would have been cool if we still had Streveler. Because you got to remember in that matchup against Houston, we got a five-star performance. And our quarterback, Streveler, took Deshaun Watson's throw power. Looking at how we stop them. Let's see. Well, they got Deshaun. That's how we want to stop them. We're not really worried about Mark Ingram. So let's let's kind of side with what the game plan says and defend the deep pass. How do we attack them? They have Florida Gator John Grenard. They actually go fairly decent at their top five running defense, and they want us to run against them. It seems. Uh, let's work on throwing it short. Get some nice easy passes here for Trey Lance. Let's get through practice. Let's be healthy. Let's see what we got here. Because it seems like more often than not, we've had injuries. I don't know if that's because our team's so low. I would imagine with some of the, okay, Ryan Hunter on the guard spot, he got hurt. I wonder because our team's so low, they might have low injury ratings. That's why we're experiencing because we don't experience injuries like this 
uh, with our Eagles franchise. I mean, we have had some injuries in the Eagles franchise, Quez Watkins in particular, but it seems like, you know, you, you're getting an injury maybe one in three. You know what I'm saying? It feels like in the Grizzly series, we're getting injuries one in one. It almost feels like every single week. We have some nice upgrades here. Caleb Farley, bring him up to a 79. Very close to the 80 threshold. I didn't know actually know he had a face scan. That's cool. And he got plus one acceleration, plus one speed. 96 is across the board. We have Raekwon Davis, our nose tackle. Confidence is very low for him. Kind of getting hit with a minus two there. So he needed that. He needed a good week of practice. Not really worried about the fullback. Malik Irons came, came joined us from the CFL. Wearing the illustrious Brian Dawkins jersey number. Don't know about that. Maybe you should change off that. Even though there's no tie to Brian Dawkins' organization, I know. Okay? And if I know, that's all that matters. Then we got Jalen Phillips bringing him up to a 79 overall. Finesse move, tackle, pursuit. Zone coverage. He's also very close. At the end of this game, we will know his dev trait. I don't know what it is. I think it's a star, but I mean, I wouldn't be shocked that they would have updated that throughout the Madden cycle and made him superstar because he's crushed it this year as a rookie for the Miami Dolphins. But there we go. My voice is about to go, so I need a much needed break here to sip this orange Gatorade. And then we'll hop in on the sim to see if we can beat the 3 and 10 Texans. All right, the weather sucks. I like Chuba Hubbard running the ball more than I like Mark Ingram running the ball. So let's see what happens. First drive, we're in the red zone. We have the touchdown. Opening score of the game goes to Vancouver. you got to remember, in this game, even though we're having the score if we do win, we get that one full start for a divisional victory, which could be huge. Maybe we just have the Texans number here. Look at this. What? I would love to see when we pop out, like, Trey Lance, two, three touchdowns in this matchup. Like, he's finally getting comfortable. Look at this, dude. We are skunking them. 31-7. Show no mercy. Captain Insano, 38-7. Ah, I wish that wasn't a field goal. What a victory. Michael Jordan flu game. 41-14, to 14, baby. Let's go. We, and we shut down. We absolutely crushed Deshaun Watson. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go through, calculate the score. We'll look through the stats that way. But this, this could be, even though we're having it, I'm going to say plus six minimum. Alrighty, so looking at the scoring here, we won the game. It was a divisional victory, and we won by 21. So that's three stars right off the rip. Going into our player stats, an outstanding game for Trey Lance. Hopefully when we hop on the sticks in the next game, it continues. But with over 300 yards passing and three passing touchdowns, one full star for Trey Lance. One a half star, unfortunately, for Chuba. Would have been nice for eight more rushing yards. But a half star for Chuba for getting two rushing touchdowns. Big game for Josh Palmer here. 100 yards receiving is worth a half star as well and on the defensive side we had some you know okay performances nothing crazy from the sack standpoint but we had the interception from sam mcguovin that is worth a half star ends up being five and a half you cut it in half which is 2.75 you round up it's a three star performance plus six upgrade incoming for the vancouver grizzlies so for upgrade, we had a couple different options. I had Traymond Smith, a corner that I've used a bunch of times at Pink Slips. We had Nico Collins at wide receiver. Uh, but all those ones aren't really, like we're talking corner three, corner four. We're talking about wide receiver four. Those guys aren't starters. Ryan Hunter is a starting guard on our squad. He's 56. He's Canadian. God love him. But sometimes you got to kind of go the least sex position just to overall help the, the, the point of emphasis on your squad, which is right now running the ball, dominating the line of scrimmage and dominating okay put an asterisk there we're not winning a whole lot but like that's the way we need to slowly start building this team so right under to Bo Ben Schwale. that is spending five of the six points and I'm going to unveil something new that I'm going to be doing in pink slips because forever and, and one of the issues one of the things that was least satisfying for me in pink slips is that there is more than enough probably more often than not scenarios where you can't max spend the the, the stars or the, the upgrades that you have earned so as you can see right here we're going to be flipping Ryan Hunter who's actually our current starting right guard for Bo Benchwale, who will be our new starting right guard. But that's only plus five, and we earned a plus six. So here's what we're going to be doing. So we only spent plus five of the plus six that we earned here on our new starting right guard, Bo Benchwale. He is a six, even though he has the confidence. Hits. He is 61 overall. So what I'm going to be doing from here on out, we're setting the precedent right now, is that if you, if we, if we, because it's us, right? It's us, baby. If we win a game and we can't spend the full points, sometimes it's a case of the player that we want is not the full points, and we just usually just go, screw it. Okay, I won't take them to the 
you know, I won't take him to the town on, on maxing out my victory. Or there's certain cases where, like, it might not exist. There might not be, in this case, because we're dealing with a plus six, there might not have been a plus six. So what we're going to be able to do is that we're looking at a plus five on Ben Shwell. There's that one point kind of hanging in the balance. We are going to be able to get him up one overall. So he's 61. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to upgrade each one of these things until he's 62. And I'm also kind of going to go to town because I'm going to keep spending it until he's maxed out. It's like, look, he still hasn't gone up 62 yet. Now I'm just pumping the points. Okay, now he's 63. Can't go that high. There we go. We'll knock it down one. He is now 62. Therefore, we have cashed in and earned our plus six. So from here on out, we are going to be, whether it's the actual player's overall upgrades or not, we are going to be getting our max value. We're going to be getting our max return. It's almost tax season. We want our max return. So in cases like this, where we only spend five, it can only be applied to the players that are incoming. It's not like I could take that one extra point that we didn't spend and go bump up, you know, like Calvin Benjamin or something like that. But the players that are coming in, we can give them an upgrade boost to make sure that we ensure our maximum value and maximum return on our victory. And now Bo Benchwell on old rules would have just came in as a plus five. Now with that one point upgrade, now at 62, we get the full plus six. You guys like that? You dislike it? Let me know in the comment section below. And coming off that victory, we get to go back to helping our team out. We have a weekly award. I'm going to guess it's Trey Lance. It is. Trey Lance wins AFC Offensive Player of the Week. 300 yards, three passing touchdowns. Yeah, I know what that means. We get to go take a look at Trey Lance and give him plus two in any of his non-throw power abilities. Come on, let's go here. C4. I'm on some medication, not the not the fun medication either. So it's good. Sometimes it might take me a second. So he's currently a 75 overall. Let's go look at his accuracies. That's probably gonna be the area we want to work on here. For me, hopping on the six of them once, throwing the run could be better. Didn't feel the best. Felt inaccurate when we got out of the pocket. Well, let's take a look here. What we got? 92 throw power. Accuracy takes him up. Scrambler goes up with that one. Not really much to deep. 76 and actually it looks like we're gonna want to go like short goes up pretty good medium goes up let's work on let's work on medium actually we'll give him that plus two there he's now up to a 76 overall congratulations Trey Lance for absolutely cooking our division rival Houston Texans getting the player of the week award and now we get to take on the Jets and hop on the sticks and take on the Jets we have a breakout player we're gonna do that last because I can already tell right now my memory is not gonna be the best today so let's go through the weekly strategy Hopefully we can get through this one healthy. And then we can see what player's feeling really good. So we got to talk about a Zach Wilson under center for the Jets. They are, um, I mean, not really great at either attribute here. So let's take away, honestly, if we're going to be hopping in and playing it, let's get rid of the short pass. That's how teams on all Madden always want to attack you. They want to throw it short until they can't. And they like the blitz counter. They're pretty good, man. This is a top, not, top 10 passing defense. They're not very good at running. Let's run it inside. This could be a game that we feature heavily. Chuba Hubbard. We have a new offensive line. Bo Benchwell, road grader from Wisconsin, was really good in college. Hopefully that helps us out. But let's get through training here. Hopefully everyone gets through it healthy. On the defensive side, we get out of that one very good. On the offensive side, let's see what we have. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Oh, okay. It's our backup center. That is fine. We can make do without our backup center. So now we have some upgrades. Who had a phenomenal week of practice? Literally, it's all depth guys. So I'm going to be honest with you, don't really care about any of them in terms of making sure their scheme fits or not scheme fits. Congratulations on the upgrades. Let's look at our breakout scenario. Who's getting force fed? How do you feel about Chuba Hubbard? Yes, this is why you set your game plan first. We want to run the ball. So Chuba Hubbard, get him three touchdowns or 150 yards from scrimmage, and we will have a superstar running back. That's going to be tough. But I, it's like one of those things at this point. It might be worth it just to sacrifice a potential win. Like if we're down two scores, down three scores, just to keep feeding Chuba Hubbard because I feel like Chuba Hubbard at a superstar is going to be more impactful for our squad going forward than probably any upgrade we would be able to get from the Jets realistically this week. So we'll keep that in mind. Three touchdowns, 150 yards for Chuba is priority one. Priority two is securing the victory. Let's get it. The field here, third and five. They're into our territory. Let's go, uh, let's go Hubbard. I mean, they don't have Bakai Becton. He's out with injury. God damn it. 
And they go Tyler Croft, the tight end wide open into the red zone. Third night of the 18, would love a bend don't break scenario. Have to hold him to a field goal attempt. Let's get Jalen Phillips. Just ripping off the edge. Oh, Caleb Farley gets, oh, come on. You got so much speed. That was good, honestly, good pursuit by Zach Wilson. If not, a lot of field there that could have been a pick six, but Caleb Farley gets his first intercept as a member of the Vancouver Grizzlies. And there we go. There's QB1, ready to do the damn thing. Looks faded, but that's fine. It's legal up here in Canada. All right, this is going to be the Chuba Hubbard game. I, I, again, I want I almost run it three times every drive. 150 yards. That is what we need. 149 yards. We go down to Chuba. Eight more yards. Not a good drive, but we got Chuba involved. Hey, Jalen Phillips. Hell of a pass rush. One of the, he's going to be developing one of the best finesse pass rushers, I think, in Madden. Give me two years with him. Go back to back. Chuba. Not, my, my team's not feel like getting to the second level right now. Feel like that's that's our hindrance right now. Team just doesn't want to get helmets on dude. Okay, we're going to slant Chuba. He can catch. He has some good hands on him. There we go. There we go. Second and 10. Like, God damn it, man. We might just have to get thrown it. I think I got like 20, 30 yards with Chuba Hubbard passing so far. And it feels like that's all we're getting right now. Can't run the ball. I wouldn't say the Jets have a particularly good run defense. Third and 10. Probably going to force this into Chuba. Hopefully he can get open. She does underneath. Fights for the first down. It's close. If it's fourth and inches, we love Cody. Oh, it's first down. Let's go, Chuba. Third and four running back counter, and it's not even Chuba Hubbard. Okay, we're going to audible out of this one. No rules against audibling. A bad call. Third and four. Claypool gets open off the line. Easy throw and catch into the red zone. All right, main read here is Chuba Hubbard out the backfield. Not worried about it. I still think yardage is where we're going to get it with Chuba. But if he gets open, I mean, by all means. Alrighty. The underwhelmingness of Trey Lance when we're playing with them continues. There we go. That's actually a terrific tackle by a Gwoven outside of field goal range. I think that there just held him to a punt. Did it? And it did. Excellent job, defense. All right, let's get our zero yards rushing here. Like, what is this double team? Let's go. Let's go. That helps. Third and long. Why not? Actually, we got Ayuk. Let's send him deep. Probably going to still try to just force it into 30 here. Come on, get open 30. Come on, 30. Just stop running. Didn't know that route out the backfield had, like, just stop. I think that's just kind of keep going. Keep scramble drill for your quarterback there. <gasps> that's a gong. That's a gong, baby. We'll go stick. I wish I knew. How, we didn't get a yards check here for Chuba. I feel like we're at like 100. Like we're, we're within 50 or 60 of him getting that death. We're going to go to Chuba right here. Holds on to it. Nice. Josh Palmer over the middle makes the grab. And it looks like barring a turnover, we're going to be at least able to attempt to equalize here on this drive. Go Chuba. Hard ass run right there. Oh, he's tired, but he got in for the score. Chuba Hubbard gets the touchdown at the goal line, and the Grizzlies take the lead midway through the third quarter. Oh, come on. It's a weak. That was a weak pass rush. Here we go, Jalen Phillips. Thing of, I mean, you're working on the backup tackle. I think that's like Fant. He's no big ticket. He's no Makai Becton. Second sack of the game for Jalen Phillips. All right. Singleton gets picked on in coverage because he's one of the worst cover linebackers in the NFL. Draws the P.I. on Braxton Barrios. That has given the Jets 
Nice field position on our 28. Go, Jay! Ah, sack fumble. There we go. Third sack. Pink slip scoring is all there. Look like Jalen Phillips laid on for a minute. They're letting him know. It's going to be a long day. Hit him with that Terry Tate off his linebacker trash talk. Third and 25. Let's go, man. Let's, let's keep it. Let's get sack number four. All right, that's good. Still a good tackle on the outside there by Ben St. Juice. The Jets have to settle for a field goal attempt, which they make. One point lead still remains intact here for Vancouver. That's a good run. I'll take that. I'll take that, baby. Nine yards. Let me set the play action here. We've been running it. Damn straight. We go Chuba at the backfield. Easy 10 plus yards after contact. Oh, yeah. No, I, I think we got it. We got it. We definitely got it. Let's go, baby. Superstar playmaker. Grizzlies offense. Let's go. Let's go, Clay. Let's go, Clay. Oh, extend, buddy. Big grab. Feel like you cut it on a little more to get the tutty. But we're up to the Jets one. I mean, it is what it is. I knew I'm not running that with Stanbeck. You know what I'm saying? He's like 52 overall. Come on, somebody get open. I feel like Wise just asking you to bait it for a pick. <sighs> Slant, sure. This is not going to be an interception. I'm sure it's not. Nope, late. Ah! Couple dinks, falls to the turf. Not the worst thing that could happen. 22 yard field goal attempt. That's still bad considering we're on the one yard line. And if Claypool extends like he should have, that would have been a touchdown. We'll put up 10 on the board here now with that three pointer by Harulahu. Let's go. This is an all timer. And I'll let him know he sucks. Four sack of the game, Jalen Phillips. And there's still, we still got a lot of time left, baby. We might, we're trying to go for the single game record. Perfect. Oh! Let's go! Just like that, Claypool over a thousand on the season. That is our first deep ball we connected with Trey Lance under center. And that is a mossing, if I've ever seen one. That should have been P.I. if he didn't come down with that. Okay. Uh, third and four. I mean, if you're giving me the slants out of these plays, we'll do that. Especially because <laughs> Stan backs the running back on the run play. It's not even Chuba Hubbard. Okay. Third and four. We got Claypool Ayuk. Maybe Kelvin. I'll tell you what I am. Ooh, let's draw him off. Is that encroachment or are we back it up? Fuck. All right, third and nine. Man, is Chuba hurt? What is going on here? Um, just get the block there, maybe? Go for the. I don't know, man. That was just. You know, kick the field goal, and then we have that insurance policy of they have to score a touchdown for us not to win here in this game. Kick is up. It is good, and we extend the lead to seven. It's kind of cooking right now, man. Zach Wilson has been very accurate in this game. Gets the ball out quick. There's a nice drop, unfortunately. Keelan Cole. It's either like he gets the ball quick and something good happens and they dink and dime it, or we're getting the sack with Jalen Phillips. Third and one. Hopefully, we're going to roll the sack. Ooh. What? What? Did, like, my corner have a cramp? What? 
Like, I didn't even switch to him until he, he, whatever the fuck Farley just did, like, slow up, that was done before I even switched on to him. Like, look at this. Oh, he, like, he went for the pick. He went for the pick and looked like a fucking idiot. Congratulations. A nice little slants call here from Coach. Thank you. High completion percentage. Oh, that would have been a tough grab. Hell of a... Jesus Christ, what coverage by CJ Mosley downfield. So I don't know why we're going for draws here. Trying to win the game. Like, yeah. It's impossible. It's at, like, unless you're playing on rookie difficulty, it's impossible to run screen. Like, what are these fucking play calls? Oh, yeah, we're going to try to win the game here. Last play was just draws and screens, and this one here. Now we're going to burn timeout and have it. Oh, they're not going to burn timeout. We're just going to go to OT. I mean, if we're just going to OT, I might as well. We might as well do one of these. I don't know, man. My team feels like they're like stuck in the mud here. No juice from any of my players. And we're going to overtime because, of course, they know that it's hard for me to talk. So they're like, hey, talk for longer. But it's tails. We won the toss. Let's score a touchdown. Get out of here with a victory. Give me better play calls. Second and three out of about midfield. We want to go to Kelvin. It's a long throw, but damn, man, he is so good. Even though he just fumbled it, it almost cost our team. We'll ignore that and just appreciate the receiver that he is. All right, my team is so gassed right now. Not going to be able to run with Lance. Got to stay in the pocket. But Ayuk, beautiful. Let's go! He's putting the team on his back! All right, we're second and goal. Uh, Stanbeck's in the back. Probably Palmer or Benjamin. Or just throw it away because that was an awful play call. Like, what are with the draws on third and long, man? I gotta go corner strike here. Don't think we have the finesse to really complete on one of these throws, but I'm gonna do this slight audible because I'm sick and tired of this play call. We're gonna have Kelvin do a slant, so we have at least something we can go for. Well, there you go. Gotta have to kick the field goal, play some defense. Again, I, I think our downfall in this game, play calling it. Like, house rules, call it the coach calls. Like, it's been very bad today. Yeah, Phillips just goes, you know what? I'll win this game for us. I'll, I'll, I'll win this game for us. Oh, that's a big grab. That's an annoyingly big grab. Now, the thing that I'm not sure about is that if this clock goes to zero... Are they going to get more time? Like, I've had that before in previous Maddens where, like, it just gives them more time in overtime. Just stupid. I'm going to act like that's not the case, and the clock is rolling here. They are just... So what you get, fuck you, controller. I'm sick, and I'm sick of this shit. Appreciate it. Have a go one. Fuck off. We got our dev trait. Uh, it's all really matters, I guess. What a fucking terrible way to lose. All right, let's get this over with. We'll just quickly do the loser wheel here. Figure out what player's going down unjustly. Like, I still am, like, I have a special Madden Xbox controller that I just fucking broke. 
Because I just, I ain't got time for that. That was so fun. That was so annoying. Uh, left to side linebacker. Going down one overall point. That's actually kind of a big one. It's Sam Hubbard. One of our better starters. He is going to be going down to a 75 overall. And we'll just kind of keep it as, as usual. And take down the awareness. Plus he has super high awareness. So that's... Helping us out there a little bit, but he got nerfed down to a 75. Let's at least get through the good news now that all the bad is gone. And that is the breakout scenario. Chuba Hubbard had to hit. Well, Tom Savage looking a little different. But there you go, man. Let's go. Chuba Hubbard, superstar, dev, playmaker. Had almost 200 yards from scrimmage. Did everything he possibly could. And I, and I still, I want to be frustrated. Be like, oh, that was mad. I am most frustrated with the with the play calling. Those were god awful play calls. We got Ben Schwale, the player we just uh, won from the Texans. He's up to a 63. It's a nice upgrade. I like those play. We had draw play on most crucial downs or screen passes. Like that one there is going on the coach. Doug Peterson did a terrible job calling, especially in that second half. But uh, you know, the mission going in was getting Chuba Hubbard up to a superstar, and I guess we did that. Alrighty, and that kind of sets us up here for the final episode of the regular season. We're are we even like anywhere near the playoff picture? Like we're third play. I'm gonna say no, but let's just let's just take a little gander. Okay, we're not. Uh, a lot of things happened in this episode. The good. Well, we won. We beat the crap out of the Houston Texans. Got a nice upgrade there. Improved the offensive line. Got a new superstar running back. Let's see what he looks like there on the old lineup screen. Yes, sir. Chuba Hubbard. Let's start getting this dude some abilities here. Return man. Absolutely not wasting one on that. Faster spin move. Hot routes. Catching. What? Okay, I guess we'll get... Uh, recuperation. Because he was looking pretty goddamn gassed in overtime. The bad news. Well, I got COVID. Sucks to record. Video is going to be infrequent for the time. I'm going to try my best to get something out to you guys on the weekend. Maybe Sunday. Uh, we lost in overtime very frustratingly. I took my old gen, so this is like my Xbox One custom Madden controller, smashed the shit out of it, and the left trigger, I think, is shot. <coughs> oh, excuse me. COVID, just acting up at the end of the video. Thank you for watching, guys. Feel like I'm dying. Uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. Smash the like button if you enjoyed. Hit the subscribe button if it's your first time stopping by. Whew. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.